Today we are talking about creating templates in Silhouette Studio and then saving them to the Silhouette Library so that you can pull them in quickly and get straight to work on your designs without worrying about too many of the details. We are talking about working smarter, not harder. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success and I do hope that you're going to join our little community we would love to have you. Now there is a ton of information to cover today, so if everybody is ready, let's do this. Okay, in Silhouette Studio, I have brought in this sizing chart. This is for placing decals on t-shirts. If you make a lot of t-shirts, you know that there is a standard design size, and if you sell t-shirts, then the design size should be uniform. We're going to go ahead and look at an adult extra large t-shirt here. If you go across, it says the design area should be 10 inches wide and that you should place the design three to three and a half inches below the neckline. In order to create the template, you're just going to grab a regular old rectangle from your drawing tools and you are going to size that at 10 inches wide. The height on this does not particularly matter, and you can change the color of the rectangle to match the color of your t-shirt whenever you open this up. It doesn't have to be any particular color at this point in time. I'm going to grab a sticky note, and I'm going to label this extra large t-shirt. I'm going to note that the design should be three inches below the neckline. And I'm going to note that I pressed my HTV at 315 degrees for 12 seconds. Now, if you're going to go on and do more t-shirt templates, you can always right click on this chart, copy it, and then paste on a new design mat. But we're just going to stick with doing this one for now. I'm all done with this, so let's delete. We have our information here. I always like to leave myself a bigger note on these templates, telling myself to mirror the image before I send it to cut, because I have forgotten to do that more than once. And we're just going to leave that right there. I might even change it to red. But anyway, now we have our reminder to mirror to cut. We have the information that we need on our little sticky note and we have our design area set up. Now when I'm cutting HTV, I always leave the media size at 12 by 12, so I'm not going to change that, and I would typically be using my Cameo 5, so we're going to leave that there as well. Now we can head up to the Send panel. This is saying that my Cameo 5 needs a firmware update. I'm not going to do that right at this minute, but I just want you to know that you can also set your material. I'm going to select Heat Transfer Smooth. Then we can go back to Design. Now everything should be set up perfectly for us to work on an extra large t-shirt. I'm going to head over to the library for a minute. Right here it says Designs. I'm going to right click and it'll bring up some options. I'm going to create a new folder. It comes in at Untitled Folder. Let's rename that templates. Back to the design screen. We're now going to go over to file, down to save as. We're going to choose save to library. Find the right folder. I'm going to name this extra large t-shirt template. Click enter. Let's close these out for a minute. Now let's go over to our library. This is the design we just created and saved. Let's right click and open extra large t-shirt template. And you can see that it has opened it up on a new page. Our little warning is here, our sticky note, our template. And if we go over to the send screen, it is still set at heat transfer smooth. This has taken away 90% of your work. All you have to do is lay down your design and send it to cut. Now, I personally do a lot of Tumblr designs. 
So what I've done here is I have created the size of my tumbler template. I buy the same ones all the time. It's pretty standard. They come in at 9.3 inches wide by 8.2 inches tall. I've also brought in the images that I use for my mock-ups. I'm going to select those and move them over just a little bit and give myself some room for a sticky note. I'm going to call this Tumblr template. And put a note to bake at 395 degrees for seven minutes. Now all that's left to do is find an image that I want to work with. This one is quite cute. Let's bring him in. After I bring the image in, all I need to do is resize this. Select both. Center them. Open up the modify panel and crop. Let's switch this back to white. Click on file. Save as. Save to library. We're already in the template folder. We can name this one Tumblr template. Click OK. You can see it has changed the name up here. If we close that out, we can go up to our library, select Tumblr template, right click and open. Now it has the images for my mockups. It has my little sticky note. It has the correct size and we did not need to do anything in the send panel because I just print this through my sublimation printer. Making a template makes sense for any project that you do a lot of. If you do a lot of gift tags, make a template for the gift tags. You do a lot of t-shirts, make sure you have a t-shirt template for each and every size. Every template is going to be a little bit different, but you want to have a few things checked off the list. First of all, you want the size of your design area. That's extremely important. You want a sticky note to remind you of things like time and temp if you're using HTV. You want to make sure your page is set up. If you are creating a template for something you use cardstock for and you know that you're going to use letter size cardstock for that template, set your media size up to letter size. Set your send panel up. All of these things save in your silhouette library and you just open up your template and start creating. You don't have to keep track of all of the little details in your brain. I don't know about you, but that's super helpful for me. Now go create a template or two, and I will see you in the next video.